I'm looking for a new place to make videos. It might echo in here, but hey. Anyway, I was wondering if Muhammad Ali would have stayed Muslim if he realized that the first part of Quran 424, Tully removes African American complaint for the time he said slavery by saying, forbidden to you are married women. You can't have sex with married women. Except, that's the key word here, making it so you can. Uh, forbidden to you are married women except those whom your right hand possess. In other, in, in other words, someone's slave. Because right hand possess is code for a slave or captured. And I wonder if he would have remained Muslim if he knew about the, four, the first part of Quran 424 that says that. Also, I wonder if he would have remained Muslim if he realized that the Quran says the slave for the slave, meaning that someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave. Or if you kill their slave, they can kill your slave. Also, I wonder if he would have stayed Muslim if he realized that uh, the Quran says that when you die and then you go to the judgment, uh, uh, that if you're headed toward the fire, I mean, you're going to go end up in hell, your face is going to turn black first. And then if you're going to go to paradise, your face is going to turn white first, you know, so. And I also wonder if he knew that Muhammad was a white guy who owned a black slave man named Bilal, uh, who was tortured in their death every time he kept on saying one. And then he, instead, you know, how many is God would say one instead of, you know, you know, many or something like that. They kept on torturing him. Uh, I guess that was before Quran 16106 came in, or he can deny Allah if, quote, under compulsion. But anyway, I wonder if Ali would have stayed Muslim if he knew those things from the Quran and the Hadith, because Bilal's mentioned in the Hadith.